Bruce Mackenzie Landscape. And the high commendations are... New life to old trees. City of West Torrens. Adbry Masonry. New Life to Old Trees is designed to provide a sustainable environment for a stand of large river red gum trees. In a 1930s aerial photo, the substantive tree can be seen in the middle of no man's land, which by the 1950s was home to the beginnings of suburbia. By the 1970s, a sealed road had engulfed the tree and its surrounds. With consideration for how these trees can be better accommodated, supported and celebrated in our public and urban spaces, this project was launched to reshape the road space. The key feature of these works is the replacement of over 200 square metres of conventional road with permeable brick pavement. With no more impervious infrastructure choking the trees, harmony is restored between the urban and the living. Olverston Cultural Precinct, Play Street, Adbry Masonry. The Olverston Cultural Precinct in Tasmania came with a landscaping brief of creating flow between internal and external spaces while picking up on the science and planetarium themes housed within. The landscaping design includes a series of circular forms inspired by the spinning planets. This theme is carried throughout external spaces in the form of curved seating, circular outdoor teaching and meeting areas, and the textured patterning of the paved areas. Interlocking pavers have been laid in a combination of colours to draw upon the theme of geological layering and coloration. This interlocking pattern fits with the larger precinct, which has been named the Hive. The Darling Islands, one Darling Island, Aspect Studios, Barrel Bricks. The Darling Islands is a new urban plaza at the forecourt of Google's headquarters in Sydney, New South Wales, that transforms a once grey and placeless space. This winning idea was born from the desire to create a nature-based experience that draws people into the space and playfully reconnects it to the harbour. The design uses contextual materials of brick, sandstone and steel to reflect the site's industrial history as a shipyard and the wider harbour landscape. By alternating chamfered and whole bricks, the paving becomes a seamless radial pattern that defines circular spaces of gathering. The contrast of the light-coloured mortar highlights the natural warmth of the radial bricks and emphasises the creative use of an otherwise traditional material. Joyce Chapel Bridge, Searle and Waldron Architecture, RBA, Claire Martin, Daniel Robertson. Joyce Chapel Bridge offers a functional pedestrian connection and place for reflection as visitors arrive at the Faulkner Memorial Park Chapel and Crematorium. Semicircular voids in the centre of the bridge deck create calm moments to sit and observe the movement and reflections of the water below, while also referencing the distinctive circular geometry of the prior bridge's culvert. Filtering and revealing views of the landscape the brick balustrades change in height and increase in porosity to create a framed directional view towards the chapel, contrasting hidden glimpses from the creek. The circular geometry and subtle brick colour shifting from charcoal to red reinterpret the rough materiality and character of the Heritage Bridge's concrete culvert, red brick abutments and lava stone drywall. The variation of heavy textured bricks creates a strong contextual relationship and backdrop for public use and landscape growth. The Hoot 01 Passive House. Melbourne Design Studios. Eckersley Garden Architecture. PGH Bricks and Pavers. The Hoot 01 Passive House. 
revitalises a forgotten piece of land in the heart of inner urban Melbourne next to a train line. The property activates a historic bluestone lane, offering glimpses from the lane into the garden through sash windows salvaged and inserted into a new wall featuring recycled bricks. Bricks are an integral design element tying together landscape, garden, outdoor fireplace, brick benches and the house itself. The brick patterns are not just decorative, but reference local brick-making history in Melbourne, featuring Northcote, Clifton, Hoffman, Spear, Oakley, City, Olympic Bricks and many more. The pattern varies from protruding to hit and miss, allowing planting to peek through and green the public side of the continuous part building part garden wall. Bricks mix with the wall cladding system to create beams, portals and walls in tight spaces.